see out there? I'm gonna take it bigger. It's a bearded dragon. It's the closest I can get to it. Bearded dragon out on all the stones. Upon the fort, Rift Fort, established in 1828, Curacao. And this is the fort. We're gonna walk through it. Is the opening right here. Just takes you through to another shopping center. Everywhere you look, there's a place to have a drink, whether it's soda pop or a mixed drink or beer. True, do you think it's a 13? That's a 14. That's, that's a 14. That's 15. That's Jeebus. Oh, that's Jeebus size? Look at that shoe. What? No? Oh, down there? Yeah, I think it could, maybe it could be a sled. <laughs> All right, now we're going to go look at some souvenirs. See what they have in this store. Kind of looks like a resort over there. if it's shops, restaurants, I don't know if we're going to walk that far. Everything and anything that you would want to buy. This is how they make their living. From the tourists that come in and support their economy. It's really kind of neat. You can find some really fun things. Can you all see the sailboat out there? I think he's trying to get to the bridge, but too many people I'd, on the bridge. Oh go out here and see if you can see this we're across the street but here is a sign that says Pizza Hut they have a tent outside and then there's one over here that says KFC Kentucky Fried Chicken so this is a Curacao it's the bridge and I guess it's a swinging bridge right that beautiful sailboat. Wouldn't that be nice? What a life you would have. We have a big dry dock for ships. That's where we do maintenance. Can you hear the tour guide behind us? Painted again, they get uh, repaired again. And we have a container port. Old scrap yard, a big sailing yacht location. Little Acura cell. Jim, I'm Charles. Charles. This is Charles. From this is Charles. Where are you from? I'm actually from U.S. of A. Orleans, Florida. Well, oh, okay. we are from Dayton, Ohio. Dayton, Ohio. So, what brings you to this marvelous island? On the Carnival Horizon. Are you on the horizon? I'm on the horizon too. Right. Yeah. Well, we're on the horizon. Normally, we buy storage units like your storage wars uh -huh. but here we are filming our adventures on our cruise and I uploaded a video earlier today and it took forever but it's on our channel now of the first two stops so <coughs> storage wars and storage wars on TV yeah yeah, yeah. well you know you know uh, there's Jim there's Brandon and Lori do you remember Brandon them yeah yeah, yeah 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 that was like they would by the big storage containers. Uh -huh. They are actually on YouTube and we've subscribed to them and we're very fortunate that they have subscribed to us. And, and Jim, I want to tell you, you guys have a new subscriber, Charles. I'm going to be on your YouTube. I'm going to watch this when I get back to you. Absolutely. Like the page. Adventures with the Hustle. Adventures with the Hustle. Yes. All right, I'll see you then. Have nice a good time. You. Thank you. <laughs> nice to meet you. Hey, look, we found our favorite thing to sell on eBay. Shoes. Okay, where did you say the Nikes were? There and there. Okay. Let's get you this. Over here. Along that wall. Come in. All right, well, tell, them here. tell them. Speak to them, honey. This is the canal to take the back cargo ships. They bring their oil in and put it back here in them. Yeah, because they have to bring all the oil into the island. Isn't what that tour guide said? Yeah, so there wasn't no oil on the island. Yeah, I remember going across. 
Pepperidge when we went on the excursion. We were here probably about five years ago, four or yeah. five years ago. This is the first we've been back. So it's pretty neat. Here, you want to get your picture taken? It looks like it's a bus stop and you stick your head through it. Look at the tables. You have swings at the table. Hopefully this turns out. I don't know if I can get to it to show you. Look at the bridge moving. And there's people on it. It's swinging open. I don't know if I can get to it. Now you can see the bridge swinging open. The sailboat's finally going to get through. See the sailboat? He's been waiting quite a ways or a while to get through. And our friends did say that they thought that was a swinging bridge, and it sure is swinging. There he goes. He's videoing it too. Look at him. Hey, isn't that cool? Now he's going to swing it back to shut it. Look, it's a bridge to nowhere. Remember, you just saw the swinging bridge. It's going to come back and connect with this piece. And then they'll oh, open shit. up they'll open up these gates we'll get to walk back across the bridge. It's coming back to the dock. It's going to connect right there. And then we will walk back across it to go back to the cruise ship. Wonder you're going to get trampled. They opened up the bridge. He will. Oh, you have to help get Bill over at the other end. You will. Full bridge. Everyone gets back across. It is very hot here today. There's our bridge driver. Back to the cruise ship and I haven't recorded a whole lot coming back because the sun's right in my eyes. So it was a long walk. Um, almost got my steps in for the day. Almost hit 10,000. So I'm not going to do this much more because the sun's so bright. Our little friend's still here and he came closer. Jim said the sun moved and he moved. He's just getting a suntan. We're going back onto the ship. It's really hot out here, guys. Got a little dancing going on. You have trouble, trouble everybody carrying their own uh, crosses, but today I want you guys to have a good time. All right? Listen, I am the first number one. That's why I get up every morning when I have island tour at four o'clock. So if you follow my instruction, we're gonna reach to the beach before the other buses. This is not this is not a race. We are not running. It's the time that you stay in the two stops. I have the map of Aruba right here with me. So right now we are here in Orangistan. I'm gonna drive to the north of the island where we're gonna stop for five to ten minutes. We're gonna visit the first chapel of Aruba, the chapel of Alto Vista, five to ten minutes. And then from the Alto Vista chapel, I'm going to drive to the north tip of Aruba where there is a lighthouse, California Lighthouse, another 5 to 10 minutes and then you're going to stay at the beach 2 hours or more, that is up to you, if you disappear half hour in each stop, forget it, you're making your time on the beach shorter, alright, so it's up to you if we are going to be the first, the second, the third bus at the beach, listen, I can drive and I can talk at the same time, so I'm going to start driving, I'm going to give you a lot of information because I want you guys to come back to Aruba. And let me tell you something, you know that when you got to go, you got to go. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, at the beach is where you're going to see a restaurant with a door. No 
don't wait today. Well, I don't see the waves today. The, the white caps in the, the water. Look, to, if you look to the left, you're gonna see the California lighthouse. Everybody, look just to your left. Okay, out there you're in the see distance. This lighthouse. It's a California that is lighthouse. going to be our second That's stop. That's our next stop, and I know. Right. You're I hope you can read this. Welcome to the chapel, Raleigh. So this is where we're going. And right there is the chapel. And he was telling us on Sunday that they have service at 9 a.m. in the morning and 6 p.m. in the evening on Sundays. And you see all the seating. I'm staying on the path because those stones really hurt in the flip-flops. It's going to be quiet because they're in here praying and they say you can light a candle for a loved one. Well, the chapel hours are 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. We are very quiet here. few vendors here for the tourist. A lot of fun things and pretty pretty island of Aruba. Right, there's our party bus that we're on. And one of the first ones out of here. It gets us to the next stop first, which is the lighthouse. And then it gets us to the beach first. So we're gonna be the first ones out of here. Now right, I'm looking the to the right. You can see the end, the end of Aruba. This is the end of Aruba, the end of the island. Look at the beautiful water, look at the view. Amigos, now, there's if you guys want to try something yummy, you guys thirsty, California you want to try something nice, something sweet. If you look at the They're filling their truck from a fishing trip. I don't know if they're commercial fishermen. I maybe they're. I think they probably are, but I also think that they do charters out of here too. So we're going to take you out on a fishing pier. Here we go. Look at all the boats. Look at the beach. Look at the miles Lovely of beach. Day. Lovely, beautiful day in Aruba. People swimming over here. It is so bright, which is wonderful. This is our last um, stop, stop excursion, a total stop for the cruise. We have two days left on the ship after this. So today's Thursday. We have Friday and Saturday or sea days get off the boat on Sunday just in time for Super Bowl see the boats over there I do think the ones way out the two sailboats at the far side I think those are um, excursions Look at the fishing boat here See that? It's hard to see for me. One happy island. A lot of piers here. Look at all the nets on the end there. There's nets they take out and them to the catch fish. What did they catch with that big fish? See 
know the boats that are anchored out here then they tether in we did see a boat come all the way up to the beach there's a taxi well i think they were um that was a taxi oh it was all right isn't it pretty i don't know if you can see way up in the sky there is a um, parasailer. parasailer way out in the distance over here to your right Oh, I see it. I see it. I don't know if they can. It looks like there's a ship out there, too. Um, okay. It's coming in, or? You know, I don't know what this boat is. It's Could have been an excursion. Here, I'm going to turn this way. These are all hotels. And didn't they call this Palm Beach? Yeah. Palm Beach and Aruba. All the blue umbrellas are that's where we are sitting we have a great area on the beach when we do our cruises I have to have at least one beach day but it is warm weather in the Caribbean without a beach I could do a beach all day long as long as I'm not burnt with the guys on it all their tanks they were probably snorkeling or diving diving wonder what these little octopus boats are I know they look like a bumper boat, as a bumper boat but look they have umbrellas so I wonder if it's just a party um looks like it'd be a party look at the table in the middle maybe to go out and swim I doubt that they would allow you to have cocktails out there because that would be a liability. But then you guys got guys down here on the boat. I don't know if that's the captain and the crew. Pretty neat. You can see the pirate boat out there behind the catamaran. No, I can't. Is it all the way at the end? I don't know if you can see it, but there's a pirate ship behind the yellow catamaran. It's the pirate, we found your ship. If you come to Aruba, uh, octopusaruba.com, you can rent one of these and go have a party. Because look at the middle thing. It does have cup holders in it. Isn't that something? That is neat. The wind is blowing, so I don't know if it's picking it up on the microphone. I have it pointed toward me, not away from me. So here is a beautiful shot of the other end of the beach. Palm Beach. Isn't this just beautiful? The pirate ship come in. We're going to be tendering them off to, to the dock here. So we found pirate ship. It's in Aruba, pirate. Come get it. And the seagulls over there making all kind of noise. There's the Jelly Pirates. There's all your information. And JellyPirates.com. Check them out.